Hi, my name is Andy Colbert and I'm the training manager here at Riedel. Welcome to the Riedel Academy to go. A short video that will help you understand how to get a certain function working in your Riedel product. If you want to go a bit deeper and find out more about the technology that makes our systems work, then please do head over to the Riedel website and click on the Academy section. There we have all kinds of sessions from webinars to presentations, workshops, interactive online trainings. We also do in-person trainings. So thank you for watching this video and we really hope to see you soon. Hello, welcome, and thank you for joining us on this Riedel how-to video. In this clip, we're going to be looking at how we use the function copy panels. Now, it may be that in your intercom system, there are some features which are going to be used on all panels, or maybe you have a group of similar panels that are going to be programmed in a very similar manner to each other. Maybe like in this example, we have the panels for the edit suites, and they're all pretty much going to have the same setup on the keys. Now, you could go and program each of them individually, but that wouldn't be especially efficient. The next best thing would be to start copying the functions down just one by one, just by dragging and dropping like I'm doing here. But again, that's not going to be especially efficient, and especially if you've been working with audio patches to have a specific routing for the audio within your panel. Again, that's not going to be very efficient. So the quickest way to do it, which will reduce the amount of work you actually have to do, is with the copy panel function. Now we're going to do it by going up to the edit menu at the top of the screen. We're going to drop down that menu and then we're going to go to copy panel. Now once we're in copy panel, we need to select which panel we're going to use as the source for copying. In this case, edit suite one, because as you can see, that's the one that's been programmed. And then we want to add in the target panels or destination panels who are going to be receiving the config. So we can take, for example, edit two. And once that's on the list, we could then add edit three. However, doing it this way is a bit repetitive and it involves more clicks than is strictly speaking necessary. Again, if you want to save yourself some work, you can go to network and then I have my edit suites on the cat five card, which is in base seven. And then I can simply drag and drop the individual panels from there, which speeds up the process quite significantly. Once that's all in there, then all I need to do is click copy panel contents in order to copy them across. However, there is one thing you're going to need to pay attention to, and that's which kind of functions are available within the panels that you're using. Now, at the moment, we are using the 2312 desktop panel, and it doesn't allow you to have expansion boards, and it also doesn't have a UI config in its setup. So if I try to copy the panel contents here, then that's going to throw up an error message. Now don't worry, the error message does explain what the problem is. So it's saying it doesn't support expansions and it doesn't have a UI config. So the copying for the panel has been cancelled. It's very clear, you know what's happened, and you can see exactly in the description what the issue is. So if we confirm that, and then we take out the expansions as an option, we take out the UI config, and then we just say copy panel comments, then everything that's in the list here that has been checked is going to be copied across. We get the message that it's been successful, and so we click on OK. And then if we look at, for example, Edit Suite 2, then we can close this window because we don't need it anymore, and we see that everything that was on Edit 1 is now on Edit 2. So the way the keys are set up, the on-call function, the GPIs, everything that we've set up on edit one is now available on edit two. Hope this has proved useful for you. Thank you very much for watching and please be sure to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any new videos as they're released.